G'day, I'm Kate Grog. How are you? Today we are out in the beautiful, beautiful Buddhary National Park and we're talking about coffee on the trail. I want to say a massive shout out. I just ticked over a thousand subscribers on my channel and I just want to say thank you so much to those people who subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, please, please do. It makes me so happy. Um, I just love sharing these videos with people. So I've also been spending up a bit of money at Tier Gear, which is a nice little Tassie company, and getting myself some titanium cups and stuff like that. So I already had titanium stuff, but I've sort of downsized a little, a few weight savings. I've also got myself this cute little mug. So we're just gonna cook it right now with that lid, because I haven't made one yet. So what I used to do on the trail is get those coffee tea bags. Some generic Woolies Coles brand, tea bag coffees I never really enjoy them I tried having two tea bags or coffee tea bags and I don't know just never worked for me so then I went to a method called cowboy coffee and I've had a fair bit of success with that and that's what I normally do on the trail so I can talk you through that but I also chat about there's a new product I found on Instagram or some who has advertising to me um, and it's called laughing pug and um, it's a really cool method um, a little bit more waste obviously than it's the cowboy coffee but um, I'll, I'll go through both of those methods now right out. so we've got the boiling water cowboy coffee method is just chuck the coffee grounds that you would put in a plunger or something I like to grind it quite fine I just toss them straight into the cup <laughs> then you whack your hot water on top boom and so it's just straight in there cool it's hot the trick to a cowboy coffee is you stir it once let it infuse don't drink it stir it once more in like about 30 seconds to a minute depending on how long you can wait and how hot you like it then all your um you know coffee grinds will sort of fall out of suspension and you can drink it and basically the coffee grinds will just be sitting on the bottom now this is a really cool method when i'm on a longer trail and i don't want to carry extra gizmos to make coffee right that's been about a minute so i'm going to give it another stir 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 Boom. Then all the coffee grinds should fall out of solution and you shouldn't get too much in your teeth. You will probably get a bit. So, you know, it's a bit of a rough style. Might not be for everyone, but for me on the trail, boom. Just whack a bit of milk on top, stir it gently. I mean, it's better if you make milk outside of the coffee in a separate container, but I tend to not have the luxury of having that many containers. There we go. One cowboy coffee. Let's see how we go. Mmm, it's really good. Like, so you can just use whatever coffee you like, grind it. I grind it up pretty small and then I find it can drop out a bit easier. It's still a little bit gritty, but hey, <laughs> you're out hiking. It's not like a mouthful of grit. So what you need to be careful of with this method though, as you start to get towards the bottom, you want to chuck the wee last little bit out because you're going to get, you're just going to get that sandy shit at the bottom and you don't want to drink that. It's pretty rough. <laughs> Righto, so there's another method that I've just discovered and um, just like through Instagram advertising or some great media like that. So once again, I bought these all with my own money. It's called the Laughing Pug uh, and they're kind of like little coffee filtery things, um, you know, once again, or drip bags, that's what they call them. They're, you know, not as eco-friendly. There is a bit of packaging and um, disposal in these, but you know, they make a darn good coffee. So they come like this. It's kind of like the tea bag method, but they do something very different, which in my opinion makes it so much yummier. There's this little zip open here. So you're basically ripping into your tea bag. Then you get your little wings. Whoop. And you're sitting on there. How cool is that? Then you just tip in your liquid and it drips through <laughs> it's pretty cool I've only had a few of them but geez I'm being impressed then you're not getting the coffee grinds in your mouth I think I probably still only take these on like overnight hikes because you know when I'm doing the longer trails I just want the coffee grinds whack them in and eat them mm, but maybe you know 
in my older age, I'm getting a bit soft and I do like my good coffee. Cool, all right. Just let that sort of sit there. You can actually, at the moment, the, the drip is actually sitting in the liquid now. So that's sort of making it even stronger and whew, blow your socks off. All right, that'll probably do me. <laughs> There's probably enough coffees for one day. You just drag him out. Oop, let it drain off. I'll let it drain out there and then obviously I'll be hiking out um, putting that in my rubbish bag but yeah it can dry out quite nicely too when you sort of sit it there and let it drain. I'll whack a little bit of milk in. There you have it. Now this in my opinion is a pretty delicious little coffee. Cheers. bloody good it's bloody good coffee the other thing for me when hiking that ruins coffee not ruins it is the powdered milk look it's just not my favorite when I'm doing overnight hikes I take those like kind of little fruit box milks uh, long life milk it's a lot heavier but you know it just makes the coffee so much better Well, I've had two coffees and a good lunch. Um, time to power out the rest of this hike. Thanks so much for watching and uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Cheers.